Singer-songwriter John Batdorf lives in Eagle Crest, but spent decades in Los Angeles, so he knows all about earthquakes. And the scariest thing is, you never see it coming. It just happens. Before he and his wife moved here, they checked on earthquake frequency, and the high desert's relative stability was a big selling point. That was a factor. Oh, yeah, without a doubt, yeah. So they probably didn't picture anything like this. Japan 2011, the Tohoku quake and tsunami, very similar to what will happen when Cascadia pops. Yes, the coast is a long way away, and obviously this won't happen here. But Oregon State geologist Chris Goldfinger, who studies subduction zone quakes, says we'll know when it hits. You're definitely going to feel it out there. All the, all the high-frequency shaking and rattling and stuff is going to be filtered out by distance. And you're going to feel this kind of long rolling, like you're on a boat dock, but it's really the land. So what exactly makes this happen? The Cascadia subduction zone is an area where one crustal plate is sliding under another. The pressure and the friction build up over time, and periodically the inland plate snaps back. If that rupture occurs along the full length of the fault from Northern California to British Columbia, it could produce a 9.0 or greater quake, causing severe damage to the northwest coast and inland valleys, where there will almost certainly be thousands of casualties. On this side of the mountains, our older brick buildings may be most at risk. They're unreinforced masonry structures, URMs, built long before scientists even knew the Cascadia subduction zone existed. Prineville, Madras Bend, we see them in all our downtown areas. Even small accelerations, when applied to unreinforced masonry type buildings, may be enough to do significant damage. And it's really going to be a case by case thing. What other impacts can we expect here? Start by picturing an Oregon where ground transportation is suddenly and dramatically disrupted. Highway 101 impassable because of bridge collapses and landslides. Similar damage plus crumbled overpasses making Interstate 5 useless. The east-west connectors between the coast and the Willamette Valley severed. Our familiar links with the valley also closed. Klamath Falls to Medford, Highway 58 to Eugene, the Sandy Ann Pass connectors, 26 over Hood to Portland, I-84 in the Gorge, all potentially damaged beyond immediate use. Moving goods, people, relief supplies will be a huge challenge. Highway 97 will probably be a fully functional, the only fully functional north-south highway, and it'll replace I-5 essentially. Deliveries of food, gas, and other basics will be immediately disrupted. Expect store shelves here to be bare in a matter of days. Gas stations could run dry in the same time frame, with no prospect for a quick resupply. So they have a plan. There's a playbook for all this. But um, it's going to be quite a while um, to, to get things back in anywhere anywhere near any sort of normal operation. And then there are these rather prominent and familiar features, our volcanic neighbors defining the western skyline. Could they somehow be connected deep down, explode back to life, and contribute to the chaos? It is an interconnected system, says Dr. Goldfinger. We could see some fireworks from the Cascades, but it's far from a sure thing. So we see some, some pretty clear examples. For example, Mount Mazama went off probably within uh, a few years of the 14th Cascadia earthquake back in time. That blast created Crater Lake. And remember, a few years is the snap of a finger in geological time, virtually simultaneous in this case. Back to the Batdorfs now, who are loving high desert living, ready for whatever happens, but hoping there's nothing earth-shaking in their immediate future. Since I've survived some of the most violent quakes, uh, I, I think so. I, I sure hope it doesn't happen here, though. We don't want to wreck this place. It's too great. So could we somehow dodge this massive natural bullet and the kind of disaster that hit Japan eight years ago? Dr. Goldfinger has the last word on this, and that word is an emphatic... No, there's no chance it won't happen. This, this subduction zone has been sitting here cranking out big earthquakes for 45 million years at least. You really can't stop plate tectonics, and there's, there's no reason to even consider the idea that it's just not going to happen.